So, we've chosen the two cymbals that I'm going to put on my drum set, the 19 inch paper thin crash. And I'm going to use this on my left side. And I'm also gonna be using the 22 inch paper thin crash as well, which is gonna go over on this side. And whilst I do that, I'm gonna give you a little kit tour so the purpose for having the 19 on my left side, just to have a comparison with this crash on my left side as well, because I'm using an A custom here. I just wanted to kind of see where these two really speak to each other. And on my right side, I'm gonna do something pretty interesting where I'm going to use this as a ride and as a crash. But to top it up even more, I'm gonna put a rivet on the top. So, cause I like to see where, if you can sizzle with it as well. And I do this a lot with even smaller crashes. So the fact that it's paper thin excites me to know that I can get a really nice tone with this. And also in comparison to this K Constantinople ride, it's a 22 inch as well. And it's been played very, very, very heavily. It's just a good little branch for me to have these two symbols compared with the symbols that I tend to use a lot. So starting right here on my left side, I've got the 18 inch A custom fast crash and I'm going to compare this with the 19 inch paper thin. I'm going to go back and forth. Playing these two symbols right now, just comparing, playing on this one, it just felt like you're playing regular symbols. You know, the feel is there. It's true, but playing this paper thin, it allowed me to have more motion. It's cleaner. So that's like EQ'd already. This, it's like I would have to dip some things out. So I wanna try and play a groove on this side just to see how it sounds. It's obvious, 19 inch K paper thin. This is the crash that is definitely approachable and they're both beautiful in their own perspective, but the ease and feel is coming from here. I feel connected with this and it's allowing me to really feel good with my drum set. There's two ways that I like to compare it and it's also with like the kick and the snare. Obviously those are the transients that will come with your crash cymbals. It's usually like crashing with one, riding with one when you're playing a groove. The kick drum feels nicer, it sits nicer with the K paper thin. With this one, it also fits really nice, but it makes me wanna play loud. This one just makes me wanna play all the dynamic spectrums for it. With this, I can really choose dynamics and have a play. With this, let's just try it. Immediately, what I'm hearing is harder to control where I'm trying to ride and play with the dynamics. With this, it's easier. Just the way that you can control it. Really, really good way of comparing. Again, both beautiful symbols. They both have their own purpose. But in terms of dynamic accessibility and also having more of a color palette, definitely try the 19 inch K paper thin. So on my right side, we're gonna just now compare with my K Constantinople ride symbols and my 22 inch paper thin crash. I'm gonna do it in two different ways. I'm gonna try without the rivet first, just riding it and seeing where these both lie in. So let me start with a K-Con. Now, 
Now I'm going to try the paper thin crash. And even the sizzle decided to join the party towards the end. But you know what? I don't hate it. It works. And for this, it's really great. So obviously now I'm going to try put all of it in. And I'm just going to compare it now and just see how this sounds. The feedback I was getting from this symbol, it just worked and it allowed me to continue and have fun with it. So I want to just try one more quick thing with it as well, just to see how it works on a slower tuning snare. Still sounds great. Even when you're playing those heavy beats, they cut and they work really, really well. So the K Paper Thins really have another category, another palette that has been added into the Zildjian catalog. And I think they are loud enough for the heavy players. They are quiet enough and dynamic enough for the jazz players and everyone in between. So I think the fact that you can have the best of all worlds, the versatility of this symbol and to be able to express different vocabulary is so important. And you know, you're just gonna always carry one, two, maybe three, or even a whole set of the symbols for you to take on the road because you know that these things are gonna be reliable. They can take a lot of the beating as well, as you saw earlier. And also the bell. The bell is a really good shape for you to know that you're not gonna break that symbol. The joy of playing a thinner cymbal is really pleasing sonically and also for the feel. So all in all, it's all about discovering these sounds, feeling, connecting with the cymbals, and just having fun. So if you want to check these out, go check it out at Guitar Center and let me know what you think of them. So this is Kaz. It's been a pleasure. Take care.